Hey there, Vanagon Addicts. This is Ken Wilford here at Vanagon. We finally got some sunshine here in New Jersey. Hope you guys are getting some where you're at. Um, and I just wanted to give you an update of what's going on. So, the last time I did a video, I was trying to draw the battery down. I was kind of trying to simulate what would happen if, you know, it was... Uh, you were camping, you had your refrigerator on, you had your heater on or something on that you left on all night. Like maybe you plugged your, your uh, laptop in or something and it drained the battery all the way down. So my understanding was like when you would drain the battery all the way down, the BMS in the battery would protect it, would keep it from getting damaged. Uh, and stop it from getting drained to the point where it was going to do any harm. So I didn't think there was any problem. I had a little spy camera in here set up. And it was looking at this voltage meter right here. Um, and I watched it. Uh, the battery lasted for about six hours. Um, until it finally died at around like 9.30 at night. Um, my meter isn't really the correct one, so I'm going to try to find a better one that's going to be able to properly, you know, see what's going on with this battery. Um, like so far, the battery meter part that, you know, looks like your phone uh, battery right here, you know, on this meter, this part, it hasn't done anything. It hasn't worked properly at all. Um, so we're, we're going to look for a new one. But anyway, so I sat there and watched TV. I was looking at the uh, live feed from in here. And I saw when the thing went poop and shut off. It went down to about 10 and a half volts, and then the whole thing shut off. Um, and it, it went from like 12 volts to 10 and a half in about half an hour. That's what I was seeing. So, you know, again, it wasn't as abrupt of a shut off as I expected. Um, but it did shut itself off, I thought. So the next morning I come in. Of course, this panel's completely blank. I le had left the thing on all night. Um, and I hooked up the charger, or the charger was hooked up. I went ahead and tried to start the car, which I did, to recharge it. The problem was, it would not recharge the battery. And I'm like, uh-oh, that's not good. So I looked through the Red Arc instructions. They're like, the battery has to have at least 4 point something volts for the charger to work. So I called up uh, Green Life. I said, you know, what, what do you think is happening? So basically, what is going on? The BMS uh, will shut the battery off when it sees 10 and a half volts. Then the guy's like, did you leave it on all night? Or did you shut off the load? I'm like, I left it on because I'm trying to simulate this scenario, right, of people camping and whatever. Oh, well, um, the BMS will try to reconnect with the, the load every five seconds. I'm like, really? He's like, yes. So basically, you could damage the battery because over time, like say 8 hours, 10 hours, it's trying to reconnect every 5 seconds. I mean, it's not really probably using that much power to do that, but it's using something to do that. So that was kind of disappointing to me. So what's really happening right now is I have purchased a low voltage cutoff relay. Okay. <laughs> and we're going to have to have... You know, one more unit in this uh, in this Frankenstein situation here. I'm not sure why the battery BMS is set up the way it is. I'm going to talk to them some more about that. Um, because I don't really like that setup. So, this low voltage uh, battery relay is going to basically look for... You know, you can set it for like the voltage you want to, you want to shut the battery off at. I mean, I would say like 11 volts. Okay. Uh, I could set it for that. And then when it gets to 11 volts, it'll just shut it off. And then I would still have enough juice in the battery so that the next day when I come out, um, we can the battery's still operational to the point where the charger can work and all that stuff. Because what I had to do this time, I had to hook up a constant, uh, a constant current charger. This one right here is what I use, the 10 amp uh, constant current. I guess I could have put it on 50, but I didn't want to damage anything so I hooked it up to that for probably a couple of hours and you know it got it up to the point where you could it, the charger would work I used it I tried it the other day with the car it started working 
Today it's nice and sunny, so I thought, you know what? Let's just go ahead and let the solar do some work and see how that does. So I might do some more testing on that today. But so that's basically what's going on with it. You know, at, why I'm doing all this testing and checking things out is so you guys don't have to do it. That's my idea. And we still have a few more weeks before the spring. So hopefully get these bugs ironed out and figure out things and that kind of stuff. So if you guys have any uh, things you want me to check or test, you want me to, uh, you know, do a certain kind of test or whatever, please let me know. And I appreciate people giving helpful comments about the fuse situation. I mean, again, this is a, a test situation, so don't expect this to be like the final form of this. Um, you know, some people are really excited about the fact that there's no fuse right here at the battery right now. There is a fuse on the other end of this wire. Um, so, you know, there it is fused. Um, Volkswagen has a wire running from here to right there that has no fuse on it whatsoever. And it also has another wire running from here all the way to up to the fuse panel by your feet that also has no fuse on it whatsoever. So, you know, if you're super worried about this, you should also be worried about these other two wires that have been in here for, I don't know, 20 something years and never had a fuse on them. Go above a gas tank and all that good stuff, but you know, whatever. <laughs> so that's that's my uh, philosophy on that. You know, Volkswagen really didn't think it was that big of a deal. I mean, it's a deal, but is it a big, is it a big deal? I don't know. They didn't think so, so they didn't put any fuses on it. So that's what's happening today, guys. Hope you guys are having a great day. Get some sun, get out, check out your van. If you guys need any parts, uh, please support us that way. I'm going to have, there's going to be a, a link uh, probably here-ish for parts purchases. And then over here-ish is going to be where you can watch other videos. But that's going to be it. Uh, hope you guys get more smiles per gallon. Hopefully this Friday we'll have our live stream again. Uh, just haven't had a whole lot to update on that. But, uh, and hopefully the weather will start getting better. So that's what's going on. Hope you guys have a great one. And we will see you on the next video.